Hey guys, welcome back to Replay SG where we unbox, review and show you how these games are played. So today we have Splice and Dice and this is uh, another expansion in the Too Many Bones series. So again this is by uh, Chip Theory Games and yeah so basically uh, as I mentioned uh, this is as you can see over here this is a uh, game and content expansion so it requires either too many bones or undertow to play this so what this does is it adds a new element to the game where uh, over here we can see uh, this is the tyrant mat that's why it's the lab yeah it's a bit uh, sunny over here so uh, anyway so these are the uh, they also have like few uh, tyrants I'm not sure if they're new tyrants but uh, you do what's, what's the main point of this uh, expansion is that you are able to create your own tyrant and through uh, I think two modes so one of it is uh, doing your standard adventure and the other one is through the NAP which uh, we can see over here the NAP is Nobilus Apprenticeship Program so this is another gaming mode that you can play which also creates a new tyrant for you so uh, we do have different kind of playing modes uh, to this as well as like a play mechanics and this will then help to uh, create the new tyrant yep so we can see possibly new baddies uh, i'm not sure if there's new tyrant but i think there is i'm not too sure about that but uh, this is for one to four gear locks and uh, it just 12 up in 60 to 90 minutes so again very nice uh, simple cover here and we have a wolf like uh, belly as well as a something like a minotaur and lastly yeah so let's uh, get this open So let's uh, unbox this again. This is Splice and Dice by Too Many Bones. So let's see what's inside. So let's first and foremost take a look at what's behind the box. Yep. So once again, uh, I think they always have this very nice artwork at the back of the lid. So again, this you can see is I think this is Nobulus. Yeah, and if I know he's like one of the tyrants in like one of the main games yeah so it's interesting that now you are working in as an apprentice uh, with him in, a, in an apprenticeship program so this is lab as you can see you have uh, different kinds of uh, chemicals at the back and looks like what looks like an entrance yeah I think one of the gear lock expansion has this uh, the lab rats so i'm not sure if this, they are like connected to this uh to to his lab so yeah if it is then i think it's a pretty cool uh story yeah so you can see this is essence of norm and leech blood so yeah so over here you can see that he's mixing and adding like what looks like a gear into a body so yeah it's a pretty interesting concept that you can mix and match your own tyrant so yeah i'm not gonna go through everything in the book but let's roughly see what we have so we have 17 tyrant chips yeah so i guess we have new tyrants which is always cool and uh, we have a three point mac belly. we have a tyrant chip one point baddies, three point Kralin baddies, a five point and a twenty point. A drawback, two tuck boxes, and uh, let's see apprenticeship cards. I mean apprentice cards. So I think this is the one that you use. You uh, these are the cards that you would use if you play the NAP mode. 
and we have a fine new tyrant cards so this probably means that uh yeah so you can see over here right we have five of the color ones so uh, i think these all behind belongs to this which looks like a disfigured version of nobulus okay but again i'll show you that uh, on the new on the actual chip itself so we have splice tyrant stat dices uh tyrant dices so we have a splice tyrant initial dice so you have 10 dice labs 10 lab dices 10 tyrant dices yeah so not too sure like this and this but like the difference yeah oh i think this is for the for the actual tyrant and this is for the splice version so over here we have a tyrant sheet yep and we have this new tyrant map which is interesting i will talk about it uh using the actual mat uh, likewise with this this is a lab mat so over here we have new tyrants new baddies so these are like the uh, new content yeah creating a tyrant it's an interesting picture of a saw build a tyrant bat for short <clears throat> I think in this mode we can still choose to like you know uh, what do you call it like uh, pick a day and progress to determine the length uh, of the game as well as the difficulty of the tyrant itself because if you pick like longer days then you have more chances of the tyrant like becoming stronger so facing the splice tyrant so we can also save our tyrant in this uh, example sheet that's given very interesting so this is like the nap one so i think this feels a bit more interesting like it's um largely because it's like different from the usual gameplay so yeah very cool so there's there's tons of words here We have like opportunity, setback, and task. Yep. Oh, very interesting. Yep, so this is the rule book. Pretty thick, almost thicker than the original rule book. So let's again. Uh, too many bones. Um, they are always famous for their maps. Uh, I think it's more like uh, cheat theory games because like I think all their games always uh, feature this uh, very nice new print mat that is uh, default you don't have to upgrade it you have to like purposely get the deluxe version just to get the map so they are all come they all come standard with all their games so maybe to have a better look let's put this here all right so this is the tyrant map and this you place the main tyrant dice uh tyrant chip here so this we uh keep track of the initial the init meter and these are the progress you can see maybe i'll bring it here yeah so this one keeps track of the progress this keeps track of the initiative i think that's what it's called yeah so these two in the middle is the uh, health and this uh, determines if it can bring in baddies or not. Yeah, so this is the usual one. So this is the, this is his uh, baddie dice, uh, I mean the tyrant dices. So if you ever have to upgrade the tyrant dice, then this is where you'll put them. So this is his defense and the, whether he's uh, melee or range and the uh, targets as well as the attack and these are the skills so we put the actual baddie here to uh, denote like which skill it actually has as well as this this I think it's uh, randomly decided at the at beginning of the game like I think you kind of draw four then you combine all their different types together yep. so that's the map Oops. So let's go one by one. So we have this here, which is the lab map. 
So over here you can see there's one, two, three, and four. So this is the order which you have to put your bellies into. Um, in the order that you've defeated them. So at the beginning you'll roll some dices, which I will show you later. And you have to uh, try to assign the dices over here. Then if these two baddies, these two defeated baddies will have their will sort of inherit or pass down their uh, the type of the attributes depending on dice here to the tyrant. So the tyrant will basically inherit like these two uh, attributes the attributes of these two tyrants I mean these two baddies so yeah so it's a pretty interesting top view of the uh, lab and this is supposed to be like the sort of the chamber kind of thing where it's usually filled with water and a floating creature inside so yeah so it's basically like combining the two of them yeah so of course uh, you'll combine like the the strongest of the two of them but I think for skills, I think you can choose uh, like the players can choose uh, which skill it will inherit so again, this is the tracking sheet for your tyrant that you've created so it's a very nice it has a very waxy feel yeah, but it's like yeah, just your usual paper so here you can mark off the same things that's on the uh, mat itself so you have skills so usually they don't have more than three skills I think so these same markers and the trackers for you to check off and these are uh, defense and attack numbers and the health number and the name yeah for this then I'm not too sure how would you how would you check the dice yeah but okay pretty good so let's get back to the main box here so you have a drawback uh, no emboss uh, image but it's a nice felt uh, material so this is for the dices and this is product showcase which they conveniently have a slot for or not really but it's like yeah so again this is probably all the uh, different series of games undertow Age of Tyranny, which I do have, and I will be unboxing it soon. 40 days in day long. This splice and dice, and the two mini bones trove chest. So, the cosplay, which I'm really interested to try. Yeah, but it's another huge uh, hole that I have to jump into <laughs> because there's also quite a few contents for it. And we have the burn cycle, which I haven't really checked out but I think I should soon so these are the packs which uh, goes onto the the tyrant so basically this is pretty cool but I'm quite, but I'm quite interested to see like uh, how the durability is like so these are basically plastic pieces so yeah I'm thinking like uh, if you keep playing, I keep putting it on and off. Like how how well would it uh, stay? So yeah, this is pretty tight since it's new. You can see it's poking out in the back. So basically, this is how you track uh, the targets. For example, so if there's like a uh, two baddies that you defeated is uh, targeting weak, then you actually shift it over to the next one. Yeah. So once you're here, then this doesn't matter anymore so if you have two baddies that is targeting two weak players uh, then you have to like increase it further to the point that it's targeting three yeah so likewise for the oops, likewise for the uh, attack forms and the calling of baddies so that's what the pack does do you have anything underneath? Uh, yeah we do so we will put this aside and let's take a look at the cards so this is the one showing the the prison for the uh, different baddies I suppose and we have a code here yeah so it is 
again it's uh sort of i kind of call it like uh their tradition you know to include tongue boxes which is good uh to store these cards so again all these cards is like really good quality as well Right, so again, these are the infamous, uh, I mean famous uh, cards that Tip Theory Games always uses. It's a very, it's a plasticky kind of card. And as you can see, it's uh, white down in the middle. So it's not cardboard, it's uh, actually plastic. So it's not indestructible, but it's really good quality to the point that I have no problem playing with it uh, unsleeved. So yeah. So again, this is the Tyrant Encounter. So uh, we have, it says Splice and Dice build a Tyrant, one of 10. So you have 10 of these. And actually sometimes they do like, uh, they do arrange their cards in a very weird way. Like maybe like you see this one of 10, right? But then maybe the three or the eight is like in another packet or in, in another slot. So uh yeah i'm not too sure why that is the case but yeah i mean maybe it's some hint you know like to uh certain secrets in the game so yeah so this we have the build a tyrant card so this actually uh, tells you like the things that you need to set up for this tyrant so everything is question mark as well as the game length this as well because it's uh going to be according to how you've built the tyrant so you have uh, Tyrant Encounters, well there's a lot, this is for, uh, I'm not going to focus too much on this because uh, maybe you want to like uh, find it out for yourself, so uh, if you do glance at it then yeah, but just try not to, I'm, I'm just showing you the text here actually. So this is for Armonite uh, uh, Tyrant, so there's like 5 of them. So we have, uh, what's this called? Blobulus. They don't really show. Oh, it, it's in. It's on another card. But this is the leech. Also, oh, that's why we got the leech. Uh, what's that called? Uh, leech blood. So yeah, that's on the uh, rule book. So you have here oxide. Yep one of four so there's quite a few tyrant encounters for them yeah there's uh lock gear one to five one of five and yeah over here we have the actual tyrant himself so there's like four okay so the length of two interesting so there's ammonite and it looks like a, a field experiment so interesting so yeah, uh, reading a little bit of the uh, uh, what's this? The description of the tyrant. So it's like he's a uh, product of Nobulus, and it's trying to. He's actually expelled by Nobulus. Yeah, because the tyrant was so toxic that Nobulus was forced to expel him. Interesting. So that's oxide. So this a. Uh, metal sort of a mech so this is blobless so so this is a clone yeah this is a clone of uh, nobulus so this is the leech it's like i think the easiest i guess actually actually they don't really like vary in the difficulty here it's like actually more of the uh, length of the game so this is long gear, looks a bit small in size. Okay. So we have a different setup for long gear. 
and ammonite so we have this is one apple lock for build a tyrant interesting so this is what's behind this is a crit unknown oh i think that's like a mini setup for the for the build a tyrant because that's uh from the text here that's how you play actually so basically you add all splice and dice tyrant dice to the drawback and draw one at random treat as a skill dice during battle oh okay it's a bit different so as this see the splice and dice tyrant die reference for detail on dice effects oh okay so i guess this you kind of need yeah i'm not too sure what this is for maybe it's for the campaign version or something but yeah we have the epilogue for blobulus which let's see yeah so all these actually uses the dice of the uh, tyrant as a as your own skill dice something like that not too sure so yeah this is for oxide for ammonite for leech and lock gear so it's really, it's really interesting to see that they are adding tyrants to this game so you won't be you won't get bored of your initial seven tyrants if you're coming from the base game yeah all the five tyrant i think if you're coming from undertow so okay so we have the next uh, tank box which is also this is the main picture that you saw at the back of the lid so that's the picture of the uh the lab so i think this is more for the apprenticeship program So again, same quality of cards. So it's like, it's so nice that I can do this without any fear of it uh, spoiling or breaking or tearing. So here we have, oh, so these are the, I should look from here. So over here we have the apprentices. So we have Jank, which is a uh, disgruntled. So it says here, Jen keeps trying to recruit others to organize a strike, but everyone else is too afraid not to learn what nobles mean by literal union busting. Yeah, so that's the flavor text. So I think like, if I'm not wrong, uh, these are like the the lab rats were like apprentices before. I don't think they are they are being uh, experimented on, but yeah, I think I think they are these like uh, apprentices that escape yeah so then 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 they become like a gear lock that you can use the raven golf workplace comedian interesting so at the back well, let's look, take a look at the back also i think you have like a special action i guess let's compare it to raven so yeah so this you can discard betty from tanks or exhaust a lab die from the lab if you do both gain two actions this action can be used once per day turn jank sideways to indicate use so this and an opportunity ignoring its requirements interesting so they all have like different uh, different abilities i guess so i'm not too sure how much to review but i'll just review like probably the first two so we have eerie we have Tinzo, Marek, Wendo, Bitfit. Oh, this Bitfit. Supposed to be, supposed to be like Fitbit, uh, the brand. Yeah, I guess. This Mook, this is a uh, family. I mean, a rock green. Yeah. This looks like somebody, you know, like they, they just deform somebody's face to become like a gear lock. So interesting. Let's just take a look at this. The tank limit is increased by four what's the tank limit hmm. okay so these are the apprentices so we have these these are like uh, all the opportunities set back and one of it which i can't remember so these are the same so we can roughly take a look here so this is the request and demand so you have two research baddies 
so you have uh, three research baddies for the demand so I'm not too sure how this works but this is a workday baddies and lab dice cannot be researched and instant is you may shuffle two discard baddies back into their active stacks so these are the uh, yeah all this uh, description that I'm not too sure what they do so I'm just going to briefly go through them You're not too sure what this does. Maybe I should take a look at the rule book a little bit. Also, having a look at the uh, rule book, so I think these are requests that so you have to like uh, fulfill this request, which is two research baddies. And if you don't, then by the end of the day, you will turn to its demand side. So I guess then it's um, basically harder to fulfill. And yeah, you actually get rewards of them. So uh, yeah. So I guess this is like instant thing that you do. So uh, yeah, this is basically the task cards. So it has this color here, and we have these are the opportunity cards. So uh, this is actually saying let's just take a look at a few of them. Oh, so they all have like different, slightly different uh, artwork. Um, so this is breakthrough, and it says. The office was never more excited than the day we learned that geophage splints are an effective way to stop corrosive exit. Okay, so you have to flip it to see this. It is an action. Place a research uh, lab die on this card, choosing its face upside. Dice on this card are treated as researched lab dice. Hmm. Okay, so I think that's this like common uh, term of researched. So yeah. So you can see here, this is swap a lab, place a lab die with a researched one. So he says upgraded OS to researched lab dies. Interesting. So yeah, these are the opportunities. And these are the setbacks. So this is uh, red colored backs. So this is short handed. So it's a work day when taking the place lab die you, you may only place one lab die yeah so i think these are like uh yeah setbacks and like restrictions to your actions for example this is opportunities drawn today are immediately discarded oh okay there's a fast time cut view two tests in the same day well maybe this is to discard it like two lab dice this is like reduce any stat on your tyrant by two. Okay, so that's it for the cards. So again, very nice quality of like everything. And yeah, so cool. Okay, so we have a uh, one dice tray here. So this is the let's open it. Oh, that's a very nice D6 here, which I do prefer. So again, this is a, this is a very hard molded plastic. It's like really thick. I really wish that like, you know, all inserts can be made of this quality because I think most inserts, they do come a bit, um, a bit fragile, I think. It's like the sides here are really easy to tear on those, but this is really, really hard. Yep. So there's a change in D6. So yeah, that's a very nice. Uh, it's a very nice background as well. Again, I'm not too sure why dices always come off like a little bit scratched, like on the surface. Not sure you can see it. Like over here, you can see that the surface is always like a little bit scratched. So if any guys here watching this video are like manufacturing or in charge of this. Uh, do comment down below and let me know how come they are always like they always look like they are, they are a little bit worn out for some reason yeah so back to this so this is the uh, lab dices I suppose yeah so these are the different uh, things that you upgrade so let's say you put this in the middle uh, of for example this 
so you have to put this uh, let's say attack over here in the middle here so then you would uh, take note of these two baddies and they will add up their attack dices and compare it to the tyrant uh, and if they are higher then the tyrant will increase by one and if they are not then the tyrant's uh, stats will just remain the same so that's how the tyrant improves over time so we have all the different 10 different uh, lab dices here so for example you can see here this is for skill meaning you you inherit the skills and this is for the bringing out of baddies the attack bomb the target yeah so then we have these are this is probably the five uh, tyrant dices for the tyrant in the main tyrants in this game so again these dices they are screen printed uh, or hit printed in transfer i'm not too sure the term for it but i think it looks like here we have a new uh, effect dice so again these are like these are not stickers even if i scratch it with my a nail you can't really hear anything because it's uh, sort of molded to the surface yeah again they are very nice quality dices uh, let's take a few out and try with this okay i'm not too sure what these dice the faces are for okay, they, have a, they have a very nice uh, clack to them yep very nice although they are like very normal but somehow they just feel very high quality it's like they do look really like uh, normal dice look like just regular dices but the, the quality just seems really nice i really do like dice game because of like you know the sound and the tactility of it so over here we have the uh, initiative dice so yeah so that's for the tyrant the build a tyrant mode and i guess yeah not too much that i can say here but this looks like a effect dice that's from the base game but with white background yeah, so we have actually quite a few different dice uh here that's new So that's the dice. So now we come to the uh, chips again, high quality chips here. So again, this is is like really uh, thick acrylic plastic. So yeah, again you see like as you can see here, see some of it looks a bit scratched. Although I don't really mind, but I'm just curious like uh, why do they happen? Or maybe it's true because of like you know over here like it's just just nice at the edge of this uh chip so like when shipping happens and it bounces up and down so maybe that's what caused it but again really good effort in uh, providing this kind of trays yeah pretty good so let's take a look at the smaller stack i suppose so this is the one with the tyrant so let's just take a look at this one it's intense so again i really uh, like uh, poker chips i like the feel of them although i don't go to the casino but because gambling is bad and i don't have the luck for it but now that there's a game that uses chips I, mean, I think that's what brought me to oops to uh, too many bones in the first place it is their use of the chips which is really cool so again these are very uh these are like hefty so you can hear the sound they are really hefty chips they have some weight to them so i've ordered the uh the iron clays from the uh, from Lock Roxley, so it hasn't come yet. But I'm quite curious to compare the two chips. Like, how do each of them feel? Like for this, it's plastic uh, with stickers. But then the iron clays are like, I suppose it's iron cord and the outer. I'm not sure what kind of material they are using. But 
it's, it looks like kind of sort of a matte finish so yeah that would be interesting to see so do let me know if you guys want to see the comparison video for the different chips again i don't have like all these games are not sponsored so i do have limited uh things that i can compare it to yeah but if you guys are interested do let me know and i will make a short video on that so in this channel i do do really like to uh, compare the quality of things in the board game uh so far and i'm because I'm not sponsored so uh, actually all this quality do really matter to me so um, yeah I mean yeah you're spending your money so I do hope like it's a pretty good quality that could that could last uh, at least a while before it kind of starts to degrade yeah so again back to this this is a operational torso it's interesting it's a 40 torso it has poison one and self repair one there's a short one yeah i think this is going on to like some of the baddies i mean the tyrant yeah it looks like it so that's the operational spine and this is the operational leg two yeah the operation operational leg one so okay the, the text is a bit hard to see on camera but yeah so that's the arm, operational arm 2 and operational arm 1 I suppose so I think this is for the uh, what's that called, the oxide yeah. so we have 5, so this is considered tyrant dices and we have uh, 3 points here so these are for uh, these are like the max yeah. I think they did feature this in under toe that's the first one I think was it the, or was this the first one yeah not too sure but these are like the, the um, these are like not normal uh what's that normal baddies but like yeah so this is mac polaris and that's the intense oops it's not focusing there's a chrome uh bear there's a bear it looks like a bird but okay so yeah oh that's interesting is it misprint or something it's weird this is a mac polaris this looks more like a bear and this is a mac sludgeon and that's a farm modified farm equipment yeah so yeah these are the three points so let's take a look at this The tyrant which is cool I like the fact that like all the stats here are blank and there's a back interesting put this here so we have the oh, these are the tyrant themselves which I will go through last so these two Oh, we have two one and another one here interesting not sure why we need two of them i don't think they really expect us to write anything here right doesn't look like can be anything can be written there so yeah we have a three point belly so these are the kralin types i guess and it's like the fish so there's a kralin nibbler which has a salt there's a hollow bell it's like a jellyfish this uh, pull in treasure is just like a squid this is a dark stalker and of course who can forget the this the hammer here or something there's a blood seeker kralin interesting so we have the three points here so let's put them together again uh, i think the uh, marker for this series is green meaning like anything that's green is belongs to splice and dice which is cool i kind of like like the subtle uh, 
notation of the different expansion items. So here we have, so this is the, I forgot his name. Oh, this is the armor knight. So he has Mo and Rod. Yep. Pretty cool. Over here we have, yeah, forgot his name again. This is Lock Gear. Yeah. It's like a very short. This is like Timmy if you roll four, four bones. Oh, it's actually rolling a lot of dice. Yeah. So you have this, that's the uh, slug, that's a leech. And we have oxide. So I suppose this one would use the uh, all the chips here. And we have let's put the chips together. And this is the blobless. So we have like a few of the other oh that's like six other chips that belongs to him I guess because it's it's both green well self repair that's the abomination <laughs> yeah that's the that's that's one that's called abomination that's the one that's following uh nobulus and we have a wolf kind of thing and a hardy block burin and a what's this this uh blur burp bloop and oh what's this this is grobos very nice art actually i like how it's like grayed out and we have this that's a bit uh as you can see here it's a bit uh sticker is a bit gone but yeah this is blood yeah everything is just blood related so these are the repair these so again i'm not going to go through this uh too detailed These are always very awkward to to like unpack because it's like a very huge stack. So you have these. So again, I'm gonna go through them relatively quickly. So this is like, I'm not sure why not too sure why they do like flip it here and there. That's a polybock. Are these like all, all these are our five points? Oh we have another one of these. Oh so there's quite a lot of like this green colored one. Now I'm not sure if they do actually come with the uh with the uh tyrant. So we have well there's quite a lot of things on it. It's a five point. Oh, that's the one on the cover. That's the mini fish. Suppose that's a geo fish. Let's uh, take a look out for it. That's a brute. So let's continue with the one points. That's these. I'm just reading the skills for some reason. Sonatro. So yeah, we are down to our 20 points. So this is the Bellow How. Then you can pause the video if you want to read more about the uh, chip. I don't 
see any geophage. I thought that would be like a 20 point. So our last baddie. Again, nicely stored over here. So this is quite heavy. So what do we have here? So you have the reference sheets, which Again, like, I feel like this is really unnecessary. Like this is of better quality than this. So that's kind of funny. So we have firstly the NAP guide. You can see over here. Again, these are the same material as your card. Yeah, very nice thick and um, plastic sheets, which is really good, I think. So this tells you how the day for the NAP will go. So we have the knock cuts here. So there's the all the iconographies. There's our opportunity setback and task. So this is mandatory effects. So so this one is fulfilled to end this card. So it's a bit like do this to discard the card. And this is fulfilled to gain benefits, optional gain effect or actions. So that's the tyrant dive effects. So yeah, very nice. So you can pause it if you want to reference any of it. Yeah. So there's a brick tyrant dice. So that's the one with the white colored background. There's the mech tyrant dice, orc tyrant dice, scales, trolls. Oh, so I think maybe these are the ones that we give the uh, the baddies. I mean the tyrant when they are building it. Depending on what kind of uh, types of uh, baddies are, are drawn at the very first phase, I guess. So this is, wow, this is really, it's like Spice and Dice Mastership. Wow, not too sure what this means. Oh, it's here. So it's, oh, it's the Too Many Bones Under Toll, 40 Days in Daylord and Splice and Dice, wow. So you just need this to find everything you need. That's really good because I think, uh, like in Too Many Bones, there's like a set of uh, skills. And then in Undertow, there's, uh, there are the base set and then some uh, new skills. So I think this is like a very good list to like really have everything in one spot. So maybe I can start using this. Yeah. So let's put this back. So yeah, that's it for this unboxing, I guess. So let me and distract myself while I put this back so yeah so again if you like what you're watching here do remember to subscribe and leave a comment down below which is your favorite uh, expansion and your favorite gear lock to play with because actually I'm thinking of um, getting a few gear locks uh, to to play with to like expand the this to actually like uh yeah, like spice up the gameplay a bit. Although I've not been like actually playing too much of it. But I do like this series a lot. So again, uh, really good work uh, for the guys out there at Chip Theory Games. I think this is a really fresh take on the games that I'm usually playing with. So yeah. Again, I think I would really like to do a review on this uh, game soon. Uh, this game as a series itself yeah so not just splice and dice so again let me know if you guys are keen for that video so once again this is splice and dice if do remember to give this video a like so guess that's it and thanks for watching bye bye